if you spend any time online, maybe you've heard of the crying selfie trend, okay? So the crying selfie trend, um, even Justin Bieber recently Aww. posted a series of pictures oh, come on. of himself oh, shedding Justin. tears. So there were a lot of comments uh, underneath this photo. There was actually a carousel of photos. Mm -hmm. And one of the comments actually was from his wife, Haley Bieber, who said, quote, he's a pretty crier. Aww. So the crying selfie, like, first of all, what's the point? <laughs> What's he trying to do here? What is this? I don't get this, actually. I understand if you're talking to a camera and it's a video and you're in the moment and you feel emotional, you start crying. I get that. But to stop while you're crying to pick up a phone and take a picture of yourself <laughs> is weird. It's a bit weird. It's a bit weird. I know what Very it is. Very performative. To me, I know, to me, I know exactly what this is. This is manipulative. This is a person who needs attention because you're yes. right. If you would post a picture without any context, context. you're going to say nothing about why you're crying. You know the reaction people have when they see someone crying and you're not going to write anything. It feels so emotionally manipulated and then it makes me think, nothing's wrong with you. You're doing just fine. You'd like more attention. Well, then put out an album. Go on a tour. Then you'll get lots of oh. attention. Oh. It's like, what if this is in response? Like, we know that the social media has become this area where it's like everyone's perfect. Everything's filtered. It's the best moments in life. What if this is just an attempt to be like, I go through it all. I'm sometimes happy. I'm sometimes sad. And just trying to, is that a possibility? Like, make some I, I get gross? what you're saying because mm. there is a world, like. No, everyone's like, I, no, no. It's still gross. <laughs> on the one hand, I'm like, I get what you're saying. Like, I think the only Maybe where he's breaking through is that you're right. Maybe he, we know he's gone through a lot of yeah. mental health yeah. challenges, and so if this is going to help normalize the fact that even a guy who's a multimillionaire with everything at his fingertips can cry, but I think to Andrea, your point, he, there was no caption to it, mm. so there, the con there's context missing. So we don't know why he's crying. It worries people, and then yeah. you do think, is this another mental health break? Like it makes um, you, it leaves you with more questions than answers. 100%. So I think if the goal was, listen. We all have hard days, and this is me having a hard day. Say so. I feel like that might actually then convey that's the real. message of like yeah. I'm vulnerable, mm -hmm. and it's okay yeah, if you are too. Also, he yeah. has a responsibility because he has a huge following, and you know who's taking the brunt of this? His wife Haley, yeah. because she made that comment. Because clearly she understands because she's her husband. You should see the vitriol and the hatred towards her. People yeah. telling her to put down her phone and take care of her husband. Mm -hmm. Like oh. that's where he has to be more responsible when he posts stuff like that. It's like it's you're not a regular person. You have millions of fans who are going to turn on your wife and yeah. go. What aren't you should take care of him? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. that's where I think he needs to be yeah. more responsible. But still, so the action like of picking up your phone while you're crying and to take the most. It, it's a weird. It's a little bit weird. Which nostril is bigger? <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting at the right tier. Oh been a prettier picture if he knew his size. I'm just saying. Um, Sangeeta, it is always a pleasure having oh, you join the family. Thank you. Hey there, what did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.